minutes of very good basketball and good enough uh, to beat a lot of teams uh, in this league. Uh, I'm not going to go on a rant uh, right now, but uh, we do have to learn our lesson. Uh, but we did have a lapse and we relaxed with six minutes to go. Uh, we we're up by 20. We, were, we had them an explosive offensive team to 70 points uh, and they rang up 30 points in six minutes. Uh, and I, I believe we may have had four or five stops in the rest of the quarter, uh, and that's it. Uh, so I don't want that to taint uh, what was for, mo for most of the game an excellent win um, on both sides of the court. Defensively, we were very active, uh, covering the paint, disrupting Howard as much as you can, getting to the three-point shooters uh, up until the fourth quarter. I think we had them uh, down to, to six threes for the game. Uh, made, which is uh, tough to do, uh, and offensively is one of our better trust games. Now, LeBron was simply sensational. That's an efficient, powerful basketball game uh, to have 51, almost a triple-double, but to do it on only 25 shots, uh, and our team was still able to move the ball, trust each other, execute offense. Uh, we've come a long way on that side of the floor, uh, so there are some good things we can pull from this. My hope is that we'll learn our lesson without actually having to feel uh, that really real pain of uh, giving up a lead like that down the stretch. We had excellent poise on the offensive end of attacking, of balancing, facilitating, and moving the ball, finding the open shooter. Uh, but LeBron got us off to a great start. Uh, he was very focused and. Uh, I'm sure the basket looked like uh, as, big, as big as an ocean uh, to him. Uh, but he was also able to facilitate a lot of offense for us uh, at the one position, uh, which made it unique. Uh, you would think scoring over 50 points that we'd be running every single play for him. Uh, he was initiating a lot of our offense for, for the majority of the night. So it's, uh, it's really an efficient uh, basketball game for a uh, very, uh, very talented dude. How's Dwayne? He's banged up. Uh, his back is a little sore. Uh, it was a tough, tough fall. Uh, he landed right on his uh, tailbone. Uh, I was surprised that he actually came in and played. He'll probably feel more sore uh, tomorrow, so we'll have to see. Uh, you know, we thanked him for, for getting it out and even coming back and, and playing. This was your first look at Edo and, and Jay Rich and, and, and you, Breed. And That's all I need to see is what they did in the last six minutes. Uh, was, that yeah. was our fear coming in into the game. That's an explosive offensive team. Uh, you think and better? they have uh, offensive firepower at virtually every position. Uh, now they have multiple guys that not only can shoot the three, but they can put the ball on the, on the deck and make plays. Uh, so from that standpoint, uh, you know, I think they're more explosive uh, than what they were before. Yeah, and he adds to our depth of that position. You can see why we would need him in a game like this. Uh, the stat line wasn't uh, real notable, but he, he offered a lot of bulk uh, and a big presence in the paint. Uh, putting his body on Howard on rebounds, blocking out, uh, trying to keep him from getting deep post position. Uh, he's kept himself ready, much like everybody else. Uh, we've said it all year long that everybody's a rotation player, uh, and that's why we feel uh, we have the versatility and depth that we do for nights like this. When LeBron is draining contested 20-footers like he was in the first quarter, do you just toss out the game card for eight, nine minutes and say, look, or as long how as, do you call that As game? long as the ball is moving uh, and guys are executing the offense and, and feeling engaged and involved, uh, I think it's good for us. Uh, okay, uh, he's a rhythm player, Dwayne is a rhythm player, so on certain nights, uh, They'll feel hot, and the ball's going in, and sometimes it'll be from, from outside. Uh, but I wouldn't say at all that this was a, an example of a game where it was an isolation game. No, we were executing offense, uh, and the ball was going side to side, and it often would end up in his hands with the clock going down, uh, and he made some great plays. Considering how well you know Stan, do you take more out of games like these? No, it has nothing, has nothing to do with that. No, in terms of from you, what you see from your own team, like knowing what's... How the preparation is. And, and it's a, a championship contending team. We know what to expect uh, coming into a building like this. Uh, they, they play on both ends of the court, very competitive. Uh, you got to be on top of your game. And again, uh, for 42 minutes, uh, we played about as well and as efficient you can, as you can on both ends of the court. Uh, 
we had, unfortunately, a six-minute lapse. Uh, I'm not going, going to let that take away uh, from the win. It's a very good win. Uh, our guys were um, very motivated uh, in this game uh, and beat a, a division rival. Uh, but hopefully we'll learn our lesson. Well, the fact that Sean had a stat line that nobody since Jordan 89 has had, it didn't come in a game where there was a ton of isolation. So it showed, our, showed the maturity of uh, our team uh, and of LeBron. Uh, it's tough. Uh, he's, he's required of playing multiple positions that no one else in this league is doing. And playing him at his natural position in three. Uh, but when our point guard goes out, and when Chris is in the game, he's at the four slash one. Uh, and he'll play each possession differently, uh, depending on that. And tonight, uh, yes, he was very aggressive, uh, very efficient uh, with his scoring. It seemed like everything he put up there was going up there with a, a feathery touch. Uh, but at the same time, just as important, uh, he was initiating a lot of offense for us, facilitating, uh, allowing us to execute different options, uh, and then the ball would come back into his hands. We've, we've come a long way uh, in the last uh, couple weeks in terms of our trust uh, and our execution in the second and third options. Talk about the effort you got from Mike tonight. You know, Mike has, has been coming along uh, the last few games, and he gives us a, a different dynamic. Catch and shoot player, very good rebounder, he's competitive. Uh, wherever that ball is, he seems to be a magnet uh, to it, so he gave us some good minutes, and, and he'll, he'll continue to do that.